As the Second World War ends and the Cold War begins, hundreds of atomic bombs are built and tested. Not wanting to be left behind in the frantic arms race, scientists scramble to develop bigger and better nuclear weapons. But the rush to nuclear superiority has catastrophic consequences. In 1954, Marshall Islands, top U.S. scientists begin work on the world's most deadly weapon, a four megaton hydrogen bomb, codenamed Castle Bravo. In the months leading up to the test, scientists and military personnel set up a city of testing instruments and sensors. And when everything is finally in place, they decide to detonate. the fireball is over four and a half miles wide and over 47,000 feet high. And 10 minutes later, the mushroom cloud reaches 130,000 feet into the atmosphere and has a diameter of 62 miles. It can be seen from over 250 miles away. Scientists are horrified to realize that the blast is over three times larger than what they expected. Instead of a four megaton blast, it's closer to 15 megatons. The entire test site, along with the surrounding army base, is decimated. The test equipment is vaporized. And the island is stripped. The radiation from the blast burns native residents, military personnel, and even fishermen on a nearby Japanese fishing vessel. But the blast didn't just take a human toll. Marine life, vegetation, and the nearby islands are covered with nuclear fallout. Before the blast, the atoll is a quintessential tropical island. But after, the 1.2 mile crater left behind forever alters the landscape. An investigation reveals that an unanticipated reaction during the fission process increased the power of the blast and led to an explosion 1,000 times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 